he's definitely pretty good at Spanish. I have to say, I'm very impressed with him. Congratulations on your new movie. Thank you. It's coming out on uh, digital and uh, home release. And was this born out of the pandemic? You and Mark Duplass kind of came up with this idea? Yeah, um, Mark was taking uh, Spanish classes uh, from this institute in Guatemala that he knew was he heard was having a, a hard time with the pandemic and had lost a lot of money because they were uh, a, a language school. Right. So he was taking these Zoom classes uh, online and then shortly thereafter called me and was like, hey, do you speak Spanish? I, I have an idea about like a Spanish teacher and her student. I have an idea to make a movie about that. And I was like, great, what's the idea? He's like, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, let's, <laughs> let's think of something. And so then we, um, we wrote it together and, and shot it together. Yeah, and I really don't think any of this would have happened without the pandemic, even though the movie is not at all about, mm -hmm. about the pandemic or about COVID. And how did the idea of you directing was that something that you approached him or he approached you? No, we sort of uh, discussed it. And and um, yeah, I think, you know, Mark has always been a, a champion, not only of mine, um, but of a lot of people um, who who uh, need opportunities and need that that first door kicked open for them, which is so hard to do. I, I wouldn't be in the DGA if it wasn't for for Mark, who um, asked me to direct some episodes of his show Room 104. Mm. So I had already directed things um, that Mark like Duplass Brothers Sphere. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, he knew that I that I would be um, good at doing it. And so I think he trusted me with that. And so it was very, very collaborative while we were shooting it, but yeah, definitely the editing and the putting together of the movie was was uh, was me. <laughs> well, I like him even more. I like him as a as a filmmaker yeah. and as an actor. I've been watching the Morning Show. He's great. He's um, the best. Really. He's <laughs> awesome. So, do you think now with this technology that long distance relationships, even platonic ones, um, can work because it's so? I mean, you see each other pretty much. You can see whenever you want. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, how lucky are we that FaceTime and Zoom were around last year? Like, if this had happened 15 years ago, 10 years ago, it would have been so much harder in every single aspect, you know? I mean, I think people have been having long distance relationships since the beginning of time with letters and then like, you know, through instant message or like through <laughs> chat rooms at the beginning of the internet. So Zoom is not, I mean, the fact that we can see each other's faces is is uh, newer, but but the long distance aspect of it, I think people have had pen pals forever, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing to, to know that somebody, it's, it's a very heartwarming thing to know that somebody has your back somewhere else in the world is and that somebody's thinking about you somewhere really far is very special. Mm -hmm. And I had a pen pal from in England when I was in high school. So I can imagine if we had this technology, it would have been even more yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Mark's Spanish is pretty good. I mean, he's, he's yeah. able to hold, I mean, I don't know if it's, it's film, so you can fake it, but was he able to hold the conversation? I mean, is he? Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty good. Um, his, I think Adam, the character that he plays, the, the, the Spanish, Adam's Spanish was a little better. Um, uh, that was the that was the intention that Mark had. So we wrote a lot of it, but he's definitely um, he's definitely pretty good at Spanish. I have to say, I'm very impressed with him. <laughs> Me too. So did you write the Spanish parts in Spanish? Yeah. Oh wow. I mean, it makes yeah. it easier, right? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also, by the way, not a Spanish teacher level Spanish. I'm I'm like conversational at home Spanish, but exactly. not. I think Cariño Spanish is much better than mine too. <laughs> well, that must have been a challenge because I know I struggle. Um, in the Spanish language. I mean, you know, slang with the family, that's fine. Right, we, right. You know, we, can be, we can be bilingual. Exactly. It's different talking to your family than pretending to be a Spanish teacher. <laughs> well, did you shoot it in your own homes? Mostly, yes. Um, uh, most of the stuff was in, in my own house and most of it was in Mark's own house. Yeah. Mm. A lot of films were shot in the pandemic, which are just like two characters. There's so many films yeah. that came out of the pandemic, right? I mean, yeah. was it a learning experience? For sure, we didn't. We uh, we you know had to figure out how to do everything uh, on the fly. We we had never made a movie like that, so we didn't know how to do it. And there really weren't any Zoom movies out at the time when we were doing it, so we couldn't really even copy a format. We had to figure out all of the logistics and how to actually do it. Um, 
there's there's things you wouldn't even think of that come up besides like you know bad internet connection there's mm -hmm. like the sound of the fan in your computer being too loud louder than your voice and where do you have a mic and how do i record him talking without that do we have an earwig so that i can hear him but it, it only records my voice it was like a lot to figure out it was it was interesting and so did you have help or did you guys kind of do, do it on your own no, we had a small crew. We um, oh, okay. we had a small crew that that was also not in our not anywhere near us. We were all on Zoom uh, doing this all remotely. So now you have this one under your belt. You have a few TV gigs, and then you have Plan B, which I interviewed you for. That was I fun. Know, I remember. Lupe, I remember. <laughs> I know it's rare, right? In this business, yeah. you come across a Lupe. Um, so what's next for you? Do, you? do you have bigger plans for like directing? Like, do you want to do like a big budget one, or you want to stay kind of indie? Uh, I want to do it all. And um, I think I will, I hope I will get the chance to. Um, there's a lot of things in the work that I can't talk about, but I'm excited. Oh, for nice, nice. Are you yeah. being noticed more? I mean, because there's, it's rarity, a Latina and a woman behind the camera. It's, it's a rarity. Yeah, I, I mean, I, certainly people did not think of me as a director before and now they do. So that's good. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, I can't yeah. wait to see what's, what's next for you. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lupe. Nice okay. to see you again. Okay. Hasta luego.